Ladies and gents, welcome back. This is a video I didn't want to make. But so many of you tune into this channel to find out what's going on in Canada, and I felt an obligation to put this story out there. Now, comedy is an interesting art, I guess you could say. And a lot of comedians, especially in the shock or dark kind of comedy, will often walk the line between appropriate and inappropriate, inappropriate things to say, sometimes crossing that line, stepping over it, and, well, once you've stepped over that line, it's very difficult to walk that back. Now, we have a story here. Uh, Polyev asks RP RCMP to investigate rape threats against his wife. Good for you, would PP. You be saying that if Morton was there, would you be saying that if Morton yes. was there? No, she'd be like, she okay. is hot. We should both f her. And I'd be like, we should. Let's <laughs> f her. Like, more. we have these conversations. We we target people. We may power oh, f the future. Oh, dude. No, no. We'll just be like, it's not really a sex thing. It's like we just want to show people that we can we can do things to you if we want to. It's a power move. <laughs> now this gets out and immediately Pierre Polyev makes a statement on social media is appalling and I will not tolerate it. Leave my family alone. And yes, the, the I believe these comments crossed that line. A lot of people are fans of Jeremy. I, I, I liked a lot of his comedy. I thought the Diagalon thing was a big funny meme and uh, the, the parliament going nuts over uh, a joke about a fictional country is just, is really funny. It really is. Jeremy on his Substack uh, wrote an article here. I don't feel that this was an apology for what he had said, uh, more of a justification. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not taking any personal stake in this one here. Uh, I've been put in a situation where I, I feel like I, I should tell this story. Uh, again, this isn't a video I wanted to make. This isn't uh, something that I, I think is uh, fun to put out there. It really sucks when you see uh, someone you know make a mistake and um, do something horrible. And um, well, this is what this is what's happened here. Uh, I I can't I can't stand behind uh, what was said there. Personally, if anyone said that about my wife, friend or not, they would never they would the friendship wouldn't last. And uh, especially if. Uh, somebody said something like that and didn't even try walking it back um just said you shouldn't you shouldn't be offended i was joking um i i couldn't i couldn't live with that i just personally couldn't live with that anyway it's a tough one this is a real tough one because uh yeah a lot of people like jeremy but this uh is just inexcusable in my opinion i just don't i can't can't get behind it let me know in the comments um uh, we'll see you in the next one Keep on trucking. Hey, uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? Bart? Hey, so you know how many messages I got? Don't go on that show. What are you doing, <laughs> man? You're crazy. <laughs> I was just gonna say you, you're marked for life now, dude. What, what oh, have you yeah. guys been doing on the internet uh, these days to get dark? Uh, kind dark. Of reputation? I, I can think I, I tuned I in. You. I tuned in, and it, I looked like you were doing your carrot top routine. You had props out. You had a little violin. Um, <laughs> I'm working on it. It's gonna. It's. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be. I'm here every night, folks. Tip, tip your waiter, and. Uh... <laughs> well, to answer Clyde's question, though, uh, what have we been getting up to that people are so scared of? Uh, just a lot <laughs> yeah. of telling the truth unapologetically yeah. with a lot of yeah. swear words, mostly that. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it should both. <laughs> and I'd be like, we should. Let's. <laughs> Like it's a lot of the swear words. Uh, I think that's a lot of the reason why people get upset with uh, what you guys are doing. You just you don't hold back is vulgar, right? Yeah, I can't stand behind uh, what was said there. Like an Alex Jones ish kind of. Yeah, thing. get it. Yeah, get, it kinda... get it pumping friend or not. The friendship wouldn't last. So this is how people normally speak. Yeah, that is, you know, and it, yeah. It, people just find it easy to uh, easy, ex yeah. easily excusable to get rid of us say oh well they swear look at the things they say well yeah, it's right. actually somebody said something like that and didn't even try walking it back just said you shouldn't be offended i was joking i couldn't live with that i just personally couldn't live with that wow yeah. well it's honesty that's what it like we're just being honest yeah. you know and if it's well, and you know what across... like I, I get the concern that people have like hey clyde you're gonna go on their show that 
you know, you might get marked the mark of the beast or whatever, and then no one yeah, will want to talk to you. This uh, is just inexcusable, in my opinion. And here's my thing is the, the answer to bad speech, if you think someone has bad speech, is more speech. Disagree mm -hmm. with them. Talk, talk to them publicly. Yeah. Have these conversations. And, yeah. you know, the best ideas can win the day. That's, that's really yeah. where we are. I think that's the best approach. I just don't. I can't. I can't get behind it.